Guys, welcome to a new series I've been thinking of doing that I'm now actually going to do. Today is the day that I start music review. Show up. I read English. Show up. I review music. I'm a musician, so I know it's all like, yeah, I'm really good at this. Anthony Fantano, you can, like, die. Hey, ho, everybody, welcome to the new episode of the new series. Well, I don't know why I've opened it with that because I introduced it when I tried to start doing it yesterday. It's complicated. But basically, um, today I'm going to be reviewing a kind of obscure album. Just so that I can start off with the small stuff and work my way up to the classics when I start to become a bit more popular. So, I'm going to start with Elephant Jim's, I think it's 2013 classic, Balance. So, when you immediately turn it on, you're smacked in the face by this sort of more serial, quite, you know, calm aesthetic. Um, you have this quite nice bass line that's going on. And then after, I think it's about 10 to 5 seconds, it's sort of quite calming, like, not very distorted guitar comes on. And that's when the um, drum beat starts to kick in, but sort of fades in and out. Sample time. The song keeps its motif on point. It never truly lets go of that bass line. But as it goes on, the guitar starts to get heavier and heavier. So you get, at one point, you get this almost zigzag of sound. It goes like... Which is um quite cool. Um, And then it becomes a lot more sort of focused. And it it it's quite complex being math rock so it keeps on going and well in you know like it's it's awesome um then you get to the next track simple time so this is actually the only song on the record with vocals and it's quite how can I put this, like, poppy, the way that it goes, um, it, the song's lyrics aren't exact, aren't exactly rock sounding, yet they don't sound, you know, wholly like pop as well, it's sort of like the greatest blend between the two, um, the best track in my opinion is actually this one um i think i was translate i thought because it's in a foreign language to translate it and i think mum i'm recording but yes please oh well anyway um i was actually using google translate because it's foreign and i think it's in mandarin chinese the lyrics because that's the only language that it came up with and the, the lyrics are basically singing about sort of an ocean in the night and sailing and like love and stuff. It, it's and that's why I'd say it's quite a poppy track just because of the subject matter. Um, a lot of people might get this confused, you know, with K-pop or something. It's not that because the band's actually from Taiwan. So yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have a sample. For track three. Um, but I can describe it. Um, it's very laid back. Is how I'd say. It's it's not like as in your face. As a lot of the other tracks on this album. In fact, I'd, in fact I'd say. If it has any soundscape. It sounds actually a lot more 
you know, Latin in, inspired, which I, I think is a lovely aesthetic. It, it sounds like you've taken a trip to, a, you know, ancient Greece or Spain and you're hearing just sort of the local music with this sort of guitar going, you know, do 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 and that that that's amazing. Um track builds up, um still still sounds a lot more laid back than most of the others on this album. And I'd say it's actually my second favourite song on the record. The la and now onto another sample. The last track I'd say is actually very upbeat sounding. It's it's it sounds like you're having a fun time with your friends, like, uh, say you're at a party or something, and the, the music's blurring, and you're the, and you're having, like, some friendly shot competition or something with your friends. It, it's, it's laid back, yeah, extremely fast paced, with some of the best drumming on the album. It's my least favourite track, but just because it's my least favourite doesn't mean that I don't like it. Because, honestly, I think every track on this record is a banger. And this one is no exception. It's just, it seems to pale a tiny bit in comparison to the rest. But it cuts off the album nicely and adds actually a very sort of nice climactic feeling. And then when you get to the last parts of the track, you know, it, it fades out and it's just, it, it's amazing. You, you need to listen to it, man. Now for the verdict. Yeah. So personally, I would rate this album 8 out of 10. It's an amazing album. Absolutely, you know, amazing. I've said that twice. Anyway, absolutely amazing album three times. But if I'd say one thing that keeps it down, it's length. This album's only 17 minutes long with four tracks. Of course, it's math rock, and because it's so complex, I can let them off. It will probably be exhausting to play even more, but it it's it's just a little bit too short for my liking. Not 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 like as bad as say Father of All by Green Day, because um, you know that track that that's like oh, how long about just like twenty minutes as well. And yeah, I, I think that that one's an even worse example. So yeah, it, it's obviously a lot better if short. And um, thank you for watching this review. I hope you all have a beautiful day. And may the music be with you all. Do <laughs>